and we get big showers. <laughs> so you want them to keep their water because of their campers. Well, yeah, because I mean they got to use the restroom, don't they? Yeah, we got to flush toilets. Well, they stuff. got they got they got toilets on site. Like yeah, but what if but what if they shut the water off to the entire park because of that? It'd be a good money saver. Or the electricity. <laughs> So it's just walking in the dark on the trail. Yeah, you're just walking what? in the dark. It might be even better. Bro, give it the trick or treat treatment. Give them flashlights yeah. that may or may not work. <laughs> we may have just lost Will. <laughs> I don't know. Is he there? Uh, Will? He's frozen. Did he go to what is that girl's of the Stranger Things? Ah! The upside down. The upside Did down. Did Will go to the upside down? Yep, there he goes. Will went to the upside down. <laughs> he said, I don't want to be with these hooligans no more. Take me, Demogod. Demogod. Scared him. Um, well, my Wi-Fi just pooped itself. That's our update from Will. All right. Thank you for the update. Pooped. Nice. He called that shit poop. I did. I've been recording for, like, the last <laughs> minute, by the way. I just let you know. Oh, I'm sure. This is... I, I knew it was going to be a cold. It's always going to... you always got to have a nice cold. Cold, to dude. It's cold as ice. I think it'd be funny just to do a shoot the shit podcast where everyone's trying to connect. <laughs> just someone just like looking around, looking around. I-, I guess I'll intro it then, and then whoever joins joins. What? What? <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the shoot the shit podcast, the podcast where we talk literally about anything we want. Uh, I'm your host, Anthony. With me, as always, is uh, Sammy, and there's Will oh, hi. admitting in. And then we got Rob here uh, joining yep. us again for another episode uh, of Hi, how are y'all? Newest Thank member. y'all for joining us today. My name is Sam. Um, we're going to talk about all the great things in life, like calculus and physics. So if you guys will please take out your toolkits. We'll the toolkit! I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm the only one that gets that joke in this lobby. What's up, Will? All right. I'm ready to take notes. <laughs> Rob's got his notebook ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Rob's ready, dude. Chapter one. First we do off, what we uh, want in this class. <laughs> First off, I'm going to go around the table just to see how everyone's been doing. So we'll start off. I think we lost Will again. I was going to say let's start off with Will, but Will got frozen again. So uh, He's back in the upside down. We almost had him. There may be a we chance that got... Will was scheduled to be on the show <laughs> and maybe a chance where he might not be on the show now. Yeah. Um, or else he switches over to his phone. I don't know if he has data on his phone. But, you I don't know. know but uh, we'll see. The world may never know. I- I'm going to go around the room to see how everybody's doing. So we'll start off with, of course, Rob. How you doing, Rob? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, cannot complain. Staying positive. And uh, it's Thursday, so I was looking forward to chatting with you guys. Thursday, man. Thursday's the best day. Yeah. Sammy, how about you? How's, how's work been treating you? Oh my God, bro! Just... Next question. Next question. <laughs> Want to keep it positive? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I'm glad that tomorrow is Friday. I mean, because obviously we filmed these ahead of time, so I don't know when this goes up. I Today think this is goes Friday. Up actually, it's coming out tomorrow. So yeah, it's, well, today's Thursday because we filmed this the night before, um, but um, it's Friday, so TGIF. TGIF. And I survived another day. So those good look at the positives in life. Yeah, um, you do. I, uh, you know, um, and it, once it's four forty-five, it'll be the weekend. So, depending on when you're watching this, you're either watching this once I'm already off work, or I could be working right now and probably wanting to take my brain out. But <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Will, you're back. How was the upside yeah, down? I don't. I didn't catch that. You cut him off. Nope. Oh, yeah. that that. Got it. Will, how are how are you doing, my friend? Um, I'm doing I'm doing all right. You know, just trying to uh, just trying to survive the day to day grind. Day to day, man. That's it, man. That's the thing. Yeah. It's a little it's, and it's a little sad, uh, given the future of the hot season as it stands right now. Yeah, it really is. We, 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 we're doing all right. How about you guys? Doing good. We're doing good. We're everyone's everyone's chimed in. I was a little more negative. Rob wants to look at the positives. Yeah, I tried thing. to be positive. And uh, Tony's about to go now. I'm gonna go. Oh, well, it's Friday, but it's actually Thursday. 
but on, on, on the podcast release date, it's Friday. There goes Will again, by the way. I can't do the math anymore. At, at least Will got to say how he's doing. You know? That's an important yeah. thing. I, I, I'm waiting That's for the important. text where he's just going to give up. and like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him either. I don't blame him either. You know, it's, it's difficult out here. You know, it's hard out here. I, I really like uh, Rob's ever-changing set, by the way. Oh, thanks. Hey, uh, I got two new uh, two new little LED lights that I'm projecting. You can kind of see under my pit right here. It's a little brighter. So. <laughs> oh, damn. Is that hurts. sweat, bro? You, you sweating? Or yeah, what? yeah. I, see, I, You know, it's pressure being on here with you guys. I uh, got to <laughs> step the game up a lot. Step the game up a lot. <laughs> oh, my Lord. A text from Will. Mm, bag out. Bag out. Hey, good news today for uh, moviegoers. Uh, so, Bill and Ted three got moved up, I think, a week, um, and I'm and I'm looking forward to that. Wow. So, it should be good. It should be fun. Um, what is it coming out? What is it? Is it going to be on all platforms? I don't know yet. Well, uh, well, I know for sure it was scheduled to be released September first, video on demand. Now it's looking at August twenty eighth. Um, so a couple days here and there, but, uh, Will's back. Let's see how long this lasts this time. Yeah, right. Uh, no, we're talking about the fact that Bill and Ted 3 just got moved up a couple days, so that's good. Only a couple days? Yeah, it went from September 1st to August, I think, 28th now. Oh, gotcha. Sammy was about to start talking. That's what, four. That was like four days. But I knew I was on mute. I know. So I stopped myself. You went, uh, <laughs> dude, oh, we lost Will again. Oh, no, we didn't. No, he's still here. But, don't listen to me. Don't listen he, He's just to so Tony. still. Like, at this point, I just thought he was frozen. Oh, wait, we may have yeah. just lost him. No. He may be playing that one game where you're, like, one frame a second. Oh, we, so. we got him back. And we back, and we back. Will's trying so hard. It's okay, Will. Doing my best. I'm doing my best. We appreciate the effort. That's it. Thank you, thank you. A lot of work goes into this. A lot of work, man. It's not an easy job. Um, but yeah, Bill and Ted 3, I'm excited for that. Uh, I just watched Bill and Ted 1 and 2 like a couple weeks back. Bought them on Vudu. Sammy, you should watch them too. I think I have watched them, but I was like a child. So should watch them again. I forget. Mm, or, or I don't. <laughs> it would say I did. They, then everyone's going to... Just to... Everyone's, too mad. everyone's gonna hate you in the comp community like oh this guy don't like Bill and Ted that means he probably didn't like the show ever and he doesn't ever want to come back yeah I don't of course you do you, want, you just want Jabberwockies to have a permanent residency don't you oh, bro oh, that'd be the guys. dream bro bro Dude, I want Jabberwockies well, every night. to come back every night bro like I don't know why we can't just have I don't know what we call it I don't Jabberwockies night every night like get rid of the mazes too and just have Jabberwockies everywhere what do you think? Uh, uh, but no. so Sammy, Great. I think, just signed his uh, two weeks' notice for the Knights of Horror. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, I'm gonna start my own tab- channel, Knights of Jabberwockies. Oh God, you get one, I would you get one subscriber instead of Jabberwockies. I would like you to uh, dance with the Jabberwockies, Sammy. That would be like bro, be, I, that would be entertaining. Bro, way to revive. I don't know if they're. I don't I, I I you know I I don't I didn't want to brag but you know I'm gonna say it now. Okay, okay. I, I I'm a choreographer for the Jabberwockies. <laughs> I train with them every week. That's why we don't shoot on Monday nights because that's okay. when I go out. You know, really show them what's up. You know what I mean? You get on all Sunday, sometimes that. you know, once so, a month we go out there we recruiting. Let me. Uh, so you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a big dancer. <laughs> let me get this straight. You drive you drive all the way out to Las Vegas just to just to choreographer choreography with them or whatever how you say. Yeah, right? definitely, definitely. From Arizona. Definitely. I mean, we've been doing uh, right now. We're doing a lot of Zoom though, um, just because of you know the current environment. So I mean, it's a little bit more difficult. You know, we're all working as a team uh, to get there. We were real <laughs> devastated by the. Uh, the news that HHN was canceled because that's you know one of our big events throughout the year. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. I mean, the I, amount I have of complete... bullshit that comes out of your mouth is amazing to me, bro. I can do this oh, all man. day. I know you can. Do this all... Oh man, I know you. That's, that's awesome. Insane. Oh god. Uh, another Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves news. Um, he, I guess they just greenlit John Wick 5, so they're going to be shooting 4 and 5 back-to-back. 
Yes. yes. I just yes. real actually speaking of it, I just rewatched John Wick three, like two weekends or three weekends ago. I don't know. I lose track of time. John Wick franchise Dude, was a bit, is great, bro. It was so good. They just so good. I, they're the movies that just continue to get better as they go on. Yeah, I love uh, Mr. Wick. It's a uh, probably actually I have this thing with uh, Keanu. Period. Like I love I watch Speed. Uh, ridiculous amounts i don't want to admit um the <laughs> matrix probably my favorite action movie of all time who doesn't love point break and uh so i got to think for keanu in a very masculine way i think your age is showing rob it is it is i'm uh <laughs> i know i look young but in my soul and heart i'm a very uh mature individual uh at least i like to think of myself as that i'm a very mature individual turns around to infinity <laughs> gauntlets yeah <laughs> Hey, but, but let me say this. I had permission from the wife to buy the Thanos one. I did not have permission to buy the Iron Man one, but you had to have both, right? right? Yeah. So, so, so rephrasing that, I, I'm a mature adult. I have two gauntlets, but I had to get permission from the wife. Yes, yes. That's, yeah. uh, How was the couch for the Iron Man one? Was it good uh, or was it a good what? It, it was fine. Uh, it was, I had to throw a bunch of pillows on it. We actually have a day bed, so it worked out uh, pretty well. Uh, me having to suffer for that for a few nights. I'm it. sure. I'm sure. It was worth it. Will, I, have you seen any of the John Wick films? You know what? I haven't. I'm ashamed to say I haven't. I haven't taken. It's been on pretty high on the like watch list, but um, right. never got there yet. I, I will say you will be satisfied um, as each one continues to get better. Um, I, don't, I don't know how they do it because you're expecting them to suck the next one and the next one and the next one, but they just continue to raise the kill count and they just continue to get better. I'd like to see Debney James do a kill count on that. I just want to know how this man can survive so much beat down because he's been through hell and back because three he's... times. <laughs> like... Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Oh, yeah, the Baba Yaga, bro. Baba Yaga. He signed... Bro, when you... in the third one, close your ears, Will. This is a big spoiler. Uh, I think we. Oh. Okay, when when he gets his finger off, I was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> that was crazy." It's like that. I was like, "Oh god." Yeah, Baba Yaga, that was brutal. Yeah. yeah, like okay, Will may know that now, but it, it's leading up to how he got it cut off and why he got it cut off now. Say something. Just don't mess with his dog. That's the problem. Yeah, don't mess with his dog. He'll come he just wanted you. to be. He just wanted to be normal. He'll come after he, you. He, he did his time. He'll don't mess with Don't mess with his car or his dog. Right. Yeah. He was trying to. He was just trying to live a normal life. He was done. I think that's why I, Baba I, Yaga. I, I yeah. like the uh, the credit scene, the opening credit scene for Deadpool two. It said from the director who killed John Wick's dog. <laughs> <laughs> In both those movies, the the opening credits, like they're just funny, like the little things that they they yeah. put in there, it's funny. Because it's not your standard opening credits; it's something yeah. like that's just they they just throw in some improvised bullshit in there, which is hilarious. You know, I'm gonna make this announcement, and you guys will probably hate me. Uh, when uh, Deadpool one ended, and he said we were something about cable, I he literally thought he was talking about like the sequel wasn't gonna be good enough, and that. It was gonna go straight to cable. Wow. Not that we were actually gonna get cable. Wow. Did you not know about the character cable, or it just it did not? Register? I just wasn't familiar. With, I mean, I I heard about him. Okay. But like, I just was like, my first thought was, oh, he's joking that like a lot of sequels end up on like video on demand and don't make uh, okay. it up to the cinema. I get it now. But he actually meant. Like, we were going how did, Cable. How did you mix that up? Because, like, literally he mentions and gives a description of what Cable looks like at the end of that post credit scene as well. Uh, you, my mind probably wasn't all there. Yeah, were you tired? Did you see, like, the midnight showing of it or something? Or I Actually, I saw Deadpool 1 probably, like, a lot of times. And I just okay. never... You know, dots sometimes don't connect in my head. Because I was probably... <laughs> every, probably every time I watched I it, I can it was confirm kind of that. Like, <laughs> oh, I, I'm 100% on that. But if I need to be focused, like, we're going in. But if I'm just, like, I'm trying to chill out, you know what I mean? Like, I'm probably not. I'm not trying to. I ain't trying to be adding up all the numbers, connecting the dots. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask him co to connect dots. It's too much work. This ain't freaking second grade. 
uh, I don't know what second grade class you were in, but I was doing multiplication tables. We going back to kindergarten. We're connecting the dots. You did multiplication in fucking second grade. I didn't do multiplication until like fourth or fifth grade. Uh, Bro, what's multiplication? Was... Right. Yeah. I'm with Rob. Is it, they, they, they don't teach that in the custodial arts. No, no, no. no. <laughs> They only teach you no, is, no. Uh, if you can lift more than 50 pounds and uh, if you have a driver's license and a high school degree, you're good to go. And, also, oh, and you know uh, how to clean up, clean up throw up. That's the yeah. real big test. <laughs> yeah, throw up and blood. As long as you know how to do that, you're good to go. We may have just lost Will again. That was the longest he was on the show. <laughs> I'm going to love uh, making probably one of his faces the thumbnail and then. Just, just his frozen face. <laughs> Uh, some funny news coming out around uh, Mad Slash era actually is that uh, we just filmed some episodes today. Me and Robert, um, not this Robert. This is this is Knights of Horror Robert. Um, my my other. He's my, also Knights of Horror Robert. He is though, Knights so of Horror Robert. He's Knights. You gotta get some better nicknaming. I don't know, Robert. <laughs> Robert. He found out that there was another Robert in the group. He was like, "There can only be one." And I was like, "I don't know." I mean, I I can be Rob. I don't know. He's, probably, you guys he's more Rob. That. I call him Rob now. He's, he's Rob oh, okay. in my phone. So. Okay. Uh, you could be Robby Berto, maybe? Robby Berto. Hey, you know what? I'm going to let you guys uh, just, you know, uh, between us us two right here, uh, not the world, uh, I, I have plenty of nicknames. I got Bobby Joe. I got Bobby. I got Joseph. I got a bunch of them. So, uh, RJ, whatever you guys uh, so choose to call me, or you can make up your own nicknames. Uh, yeah. I just want to let you know that um, Tony's historically bad at remembering to cut things, so that's probably going to end up on the <laughs> oh, internet. So that's fine. <laughs> so really, hope, really hope you're not embarrassed by any of those names. I'm not. I've been called in for years. I have some worse names that family call me, and I'm just like, this is the worst. You know, they called me in front of friends. And I'm like, you guys are horrible. You guys are yeah. assholes. I mean, <clears throat> one of my uh, one of my icebreakers along the way has always been like they always ask me. So is it Sam or is it Samuel? I'm like, I just call, call me whatever you want. Just call him Sammy. Just don't call me late to dinner. Yeah, I like that one. I typically, when I meet new people, just for fun, um, I usually give them the wrong name, and in hopes that later on, you know, in the future, that we're around people and they call me that, and you know, they're like, "That's not Barry, that's Rob," and you know, it's a little funny thing for me later on. So. So what if your name isn't actually Raw, and you've been playing a joke this all this time? <laughs> it's really like, uh, I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> yes, it's Jeff. It's Jake from State Farm. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm the what real Jake from State Jake Farm. Jake from State Farm? Oh, uh, uh, khakis? Khakis. You sound hideous. <laughs> Uh, no, that's, I think that's, uh, no, I think you're just, I, I've always called him Rob. I don't know what Sammy will call you. Sammy can call you a plethora of names. Uh, all. all of them. I'll all take them all. Whatever. All of them. Whatever, whatever day. Whatever me. he feels like that day, he'll just you know bring it up and. Yeah. Like They'll probably just be Rob. I'll answer to it. Uh, if I remember your name, like. <laughs> consider that a way. That, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough right there. I had to look at the ticker real quick. I wanted to yeah. make a, a quick Knights of Horror announcement. Wait, hold up, hold up. I just have one thing to say before we get to announcing it. You got something to say? I've got something to say. Um, <laughs> but we're not going there. Um, at work, that's what I'm the work style. Like, they'll give me their name, and I'm just like, who, who, what? <laughs> Especially when I have to notate the call at the end. I'm like, what was their name? That that was. Uh, Where were they calling from? That was, that was Tim, right? <laughs> oh, and then if they say their name really fast, oh. well, it's like me. You know, it's like at, at this point in TLEV, everyone knows Mr. E is now his real name is Tim. I mean, everyone knows that. It's been publicly out there, but for the longest in the beginning, it was always Mr. E. And then when I found out it was Tim, like I just never called him Mr. E anymore. It just has always been Tim. Yeah, I don't call. I don't think I've ever called him Mr. E. I can just, just start. I should just, just start calling him E. Well, I'm like, what's up, E? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to let you guys know that you suck because I remember your memory. names. Um, you guys should feel special because okay, I feel I'm special. the worst at names. I think we got. I think uh, we. May oh my god! Will took a long time this time, so I think he he may have changed something. He's this mad. This is for real. This is for real. This is for real, Will. Hi, Will. How's it going? <laughs> welcome back. And welcome back. How was the upside down again? <laughs> Brutal. I almost had to restart my computer. 
Yeah, we got him this time. But uh, a Knights of Horror announcement. I mean, if you guys are gonna be there, we'll be happy to to you know say hi, hang out or whatever. But uh, Rob and I will be at the uh, Taste of Knots event, August 29th. See, he's excited because you know yep, it's fun. I am. I'm excited. Um, it will be me, Rob, his wife, and my my pops. We're all gonna be uh, chilling, trying some food. Uh, we may vlog it. I don't know. Uh, I'm still debating whether or not we, we vlog it. It'll probably just give me an excuse to film yeah. something. You know you have to. I know, right? I mean, I gotta... Obviously, the beginning of that video is gonna show the bench. The end of the video is gonna show the bench. <laughs> the beginning. I wanna... I, I'm just waiting for that property damage uh, bill in the mail still. <laughs> yeah, you keep bringing it up, but it's probably gonna give it to us now. I mean, I was just been, I've just been waiting. And I'm forwarding but it. it. I'm, I'm gonna forward it to you next. Hey, bro, when they give it to me, though, I'm gonna say I'll pay it, but you have to give me the bench. And They'll I'm not paying the for bench. shipping. Ooh. That'd look good on the set, huh? Just have that bench instead of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> that would also suck for your, like, daily naps. <laughs> it, maybe, it, it motivates me not to take a nap now. That'll be good. It'll be good for my nap. It'll just feel like I'm home. just saying, it doesn't motivate you to not take a nap because you've clearly slept on that bench many nights. <laughs> well, that's what I just said, bro. Weren't you listening? Yeah, I know. <laughs> bro, I'll just get cozy. Like, it'll, it'll be normal. Like, I think it's shaped to my butt already, so it'll be, it'll be just like a memory foam. So I, I need to ask Will this because Will goes to Horror Nights just like how we go to Knott's a lot. Will, do, do you ever did you ever have nights when you went to Horror Nights where you would just sit down and just watch the scare zones all night? Oh, of course, of course. Um, I had a few nights where – so what I mostly tried to do was like a few nights into the event, you know, you kind of figure out which ones you're not going to hit and which ones you really dig and are wanting to do repeatedly. So I'd show up as early as I can. I'd get in, you know, get to the park like five minutes before it opens. And then, of course, never take the escalators, run down those stairs to the back lot. <laughs> That's, um, that involves exercise, which is something I don't yeah. like doing. It's not so much exercise as it is training yourself not to eat shit all the way down like hundreds of <laughs> See, I can't do that with Sammy because that met, there's an opportunity, there's a chance that that may happen. <laughs> and I'm not just like I'm not saying that to say that like it legit is like he's got it. Bro, I could trip over anything. It's a anything. real possibility. Bro, Air Air be trying to get me all day, every day, bro. <laughs> just be like, yeah. Sammy doesn't know like the. De- I don't think Sammy's body knows what gravity is. <laughs> bro, I'm, I, I well. No, I think I'm just very prone to gravity. Gravity just wants to take me down. <laughs> if I didn't, if I didn't know what gravity was, I would be floating. Um, I'm sorry, Will. Uh, that's so, that's physics 101, my friend. You, you said okay, so taking the stairs is probably your fastest decision then. Yeah. No. So and then I just hit the mazes that I really want to get done, and then uh, either I just keep doing those or I just sit. I have this, you know, like in the back lot by. Uh, by where the bar kind of was on those seats, mm-hmm. that was like a spot. So I'd take a chair that was facing out towards like where the crowds were, and I could sit there for like three hours. You know, give me some bomb ass tachos from, from um, the star court, and then I'd have to like, you know, try not to drop them in the middle of Toxic Tunnel while I'm like walking through all these scare actors and shit, <laughs> uh, and then just find a spot and sit and chill. That was like the best. That's always what I look forward to. Yeah. I, I really wanted to do that one of the nights we went to Horror Nights, but I feel like with me and Sammy, since we we were only going there like once a week maybe, like right. we just we, – we had to make the due time of what we had with our time there. And uh, like I think for, for sure like if, if, that, if I ever get the opportunity, like that's something I really want to do is just like for one night at Knott's just stay in the scare zones and see what happens because I bet like way more people get dropped there than at Knott's. Right. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, and then oh, and then last year, no, 2018, uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, uh, made some scare actor friends in, uh, in uh, what was it called? The, the scare zone at the very front of the park with the dolls. Spirits and demons or fallen angels? Uh, no, 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 2018. Oh, uh, with the dolls. Uh, Hell's Harvest? Hell's Harvest. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember what you're talking about. I yes. Think, yeah, yeah. We may have just uh, lost Sammy again. Or yeah, the first time. With, um, I think the name of her character was Hatchet Hammer. I'm still here. I was just, I had to do something real quick. Ah, look at Mr. Important Guy over here. Bro, I, I, 
I, t- I was contacting the Jabberwockies real quick. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Get him on the show, then. Let's let's talk to them. You know, I, I, you know, you, I don't, you, you're the thousand subs, maybe, when we get to... Uh... <laughs> Now you're starting to sound like now you're starting to sound like Sony's PR team that just denied me a fucking interview with Troy Baker, bro. But you know, you got to do your time, bro. When your time comes, it comes, bro. Fifteen K, we'll get the Jabba Walkies. I don't. Uh, you can you can interview them yourself. I don't know what you, I don't know what channel you put it on, but you can do it. Yeah, no, it's gonna be good, bro. Because you know why? They don't talk, so it's gonna be real interesting. Just like there's gonna be. A... You know what I was thinking about the entire time we were talking about Sammy falling was. Uh... There was one time I, I picked him up from his house and brought him back to the to my house to we were gonna film like for the day or something like that. Oh, the cable guy! The, the cable by the cable guy was coming by my house because I think one of our boxes got messed up or something, and <laughs> so Sammy <laughs> he goes up to my the way my you, house you didn't you didn't even share your story. No, no, I got it. No, I got it. So the way my house is built is like. Uh, like in the front lawn, you have to like step up on like a little bit of a brick thing, so it's like not big. It's like a regular step. So we're walking to the front door because that's where I was taking the cable guy, and Sammy goes up on the step, but the and then he falls obviously. But the way he fell was hilarious because oh. it looked like it was happening in slow motion, <laughs> like but it was happening in real time. But like he just fell to the floor so slow. <laughs> Yeah, I clipped my toe uh, on like the edge of the brick, and I just couldn't. I was trying to get my balance done, it just didn't work. I put too much weight forward, and I kind of put it back, Gravity. and I couldn't adjust, so then I was just all the way forward. So Tony was dying. Tony was literally dying, and the cable guy was just like, I, he wanted to laugh. And he, he knew he couldn't because he was working, and he was also kind of pissed because. Tony made him sit out there for like 20 minutes because he didn't realize he was there. And he drove to pick me up. And then I get in the car. He's like, we got to go. The cable guy's there. He called my dad already. I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it was, that was a fun day. Um, but that's, that's, that's going to do it for this week of uh, Sammy, embarrassing Sammy stories. We got plenty more we can share. <laughs> no, I know. I, this is my problem is I always, I'm always doing dumb stuff. But I never catch other people doing dumb stuff. <laughs> or if I do, I just never remember. So it's always just the. No, because yeah, you you so. caught me doing a lot of dumb shit in, in the past. I just don't remember. I'm just like, oh. what about the fudge and stupid? How that started, bro? I, oh, bro, I, I forgot about that. I don't even remember how that started. I don't know <laughs> if it was you or Kaka. I mean, I thought it was Kaka, but was it you? I don't know. I mean, I remember the banquet one where we were. I uh, brought in a case of water and I dropped it, and you went, "What are you fudging, stupid?" <laughs> uh, no, I think it was because I I I, th- I think what started was well, one of our one of the actors was like had forgot something in like in the drama room in high school, and I had the keys and I literally told everyone like Hey, get your stuff out, I'm gonna lock the door and then like I was locking the door, and then everyone was like I was like everyone's good right and everyone's like yeah. I locked the door, and then 10 minutes later, one of the homies comes up, he's like, uh, I forgot something in the room. I was like, you fudging stupid? (laughs) I forgot something in the room. (laughs) Talking about the room? Talking about the room now? The room. Greatest movie ever made? Greatest of all time. I know Rob. Okay, Rob's giving me that face, so he knows obviously what that movie is. Rob, I'm waiting for that movie review on All the Fence Movie Reviews. Oh, man. Uh, You know what? I will talk to the guys and see. uh, No, I'm not going to talk to anyone about that movie. Bro, but but Tommy Wiesel is a He's a visionary director, knows how to work them green screens. It's beautiful. (laughs) Oh, I was waiting for Sammy to say something. Like he oh, hi, Mark. Say something. Oh, hi, Mark. Visionary. I was trying to, I was trying to remember the beginning of the line, but then I forgot it. So I was Let me like, put oh, it this way, hi, right? Mark. Visionary director, visionary artist, visionary writer, and that's why to this day I still got to see his his other feature film, Best Friends, which was a two parter that actually came out in theaters. So I got to go online and find it somewhere because uh, I, I support Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, because he needs more money. It's a bottomless pit, so, dog. It's a bottomless pit. It's a bottomless pit. <laughs> I don't even know if this check's going to go through. 
<laughs> that was the Spot greatest. Was. I did like it, it, the Disaster Artist though was a very good movie. I don't know if anyone saw that movie. I was going to, but James Franco can't do it. Did, okay, so do you not? Did you not like him prior to his allegations, or have you just never liked him? I never liked him. Really? Why not? I mean, uh, well, it's all like personal stuff. It, it I mean, was Spider Man, wasn't it? And stuff like that. Well, it's that, and there's also like some like stuff he did with like ripping off artists and stuff like that a while ago. Like, it, it was you saw Pineapple Express and you weren't a fan. <laughs> exactly. I was a huge fan of Pineapple Express. Bro, he wasn't a what is it? What movie was he in? Was it Twenty Seven Hours? Or the one where he's like oh, in the, cuts off in his the arm. rock? <laughs> yeah, he's like can't be a fan of him after that. No way, Jose. That was a good performance, though, man. I mean, that movie was that movie stressed me out. I've never seen it. Yeah, it's, but it's stressful. It doesn't dude. surprise you. Yeah, it, no, it's it's very stressful because like he he gets caught in the rock and like the entire movie is him just spending twenty seven hours trying to survive on the very little water and food that he has, and he actually had to use like his his coat and everything as like a blanket for the night because it actually got really cold. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's what you get for playing around with parkour though, kids. Just just don't, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. You're muted. <laughs> no movie. Well, there's two movies that'll give me an anxiety attack. Um, I think you know one of them. Conjuring two. But also, no, I can watch the Conjuring two. I'm fine. I'm just terrified she's gonna show up in my room one night and we're about to have to fight. Um, can you um, can you at least try to film that? Like, cause it'd be great content. Bro, I was terrified because, you know, I was, I, I'll share a story about this. I was, you know, I was being vulnerable in college with one of my roommates. Like, hey, like, you know, like, that movie kind of terrifies me. And then what do they want to do the rest of the year? They keep threatening me that, <laughs> that they're going to come into my room dressed as the nun and wake me up at like 3 a.m. That's actually not, that's not a good, that's not a bad idea for a channel prank. Yeah, yeah. I'm not about that, though. Like. I was like, I get it, like, if it's something like light, but like, I have a legitimate fear of that damn nun. Like, if you woke <laughs> me up and you were like Michael Myers, like, oh, okay, like, that's funny. Like, I'm not scared of Michael Myers. No, well, I'm gonna have another story about that, too. But, like, that's that, that's fine, but like, I have legitimate, like, fear of her. Like, it's not even funny. You're giving Tony so much ammo, right? Yeah, now. he's just, <laughs> I, I see him taking notes back there. Okay. And like uh, the thing is, is if, the thing is, is like if I'm coming hand, I'm throwing hands, and if I kill Tony, like I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> you won't. I can like, promise you, you won't man, kill me. Fucking mind. bro, you don't under like when fight when fear of flight comes into contact, you don't understand what happens to humans. Like that you is won't, legitimate. You won't kill me. I will. No, I, I will I'm, not fight back, but I will literally go to the extent of. I will take as much punches as I need until I need to drop you on the floor, take off my mask, and go. This is who I am. Relax, bro. The last time we that one time we wrestled though, I put you in an ankle lock and I almost broke your ankle. So that was wrestling. I'm gonna go into a. I'm going to like activate like the inner demon in me, and I have a lot of demons inside of me that I keep I keep buried away. So there's that. So like, don't do that one. You can scare me with another one. I give you permission. What's the second most thing you're scared of? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Anything that wakes me up in the middle of the night would be terrifying. Like, I don't know. I think I'll just come you could probably... dress up as Pennywise. I'll scare the shit out of him. Well, then, that's the other thing, too, is so in that story with my college, that's when Pennywise first appeared in It Chapter 1, right? And after I watched that movie, my mind was playing games with me. Um, cause my roommate had a King's banner in his, cause I shared a room and he had a King's banner. And I don't know why, but for like a week straight, like when I took my glasses off in the middle of the night, like I would wake up, <laughs> I would see Pennywise's face on that King's mat, like on that King's like banner for some reason. Like it was the weirdest thing. Like I wasn't terrified of it, but I was just like, why do I keep seeing him there? Like in the middle of the night. God, that's hilarious, dude. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think that your mind is just deceiving you, and that's what horror movies do. I mean, every night. Well, yeah, definitely. That's definitely what they're supposed to do. Is they're supposed to make you feel uneasy and things. But I was just like, that's random. Like that's never like the only other movie that happened with was 
when I watched The Conjuring 2 in theaters, that's only because you've been to my aunt's house, and I was sleeping on the couch, and it was looking down the long hallway, and that long hallway <laughs> with no lights on, th- that's again your mind be deceiving you, because... Yeah, I've been to his aunt's house, and it definitely has that, like, Conjuring-style hallway that she goes down when Valix walk into the art room. It's it's not cool. That's when you turn on Disney Channel at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> 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 I'll be turning – well, I mean, for me, it'd be like, I'm turning Sports Center on. Scott yeah, Ventel will save turn me. Turn on all the lights. <laughs> yeah. You wake up, the, every light in the house, even all the rooms that you're not even in are on. <laughs> it's like, my aunt wakes up, Sam, why did you turn all the lights on? <laughs> I, I had a had a bit had a bit dream. <laughs> you see, know. but it, it's different for me. Like when I when I know, like my biggest thing too is like every night when I go to bed, I have a dark corner in my room where it's by a window. And the two things that I, I that fear me the most is someone is just gonna literally slowly rise up, and I'm just gonna see a black figure start stalk, uh, stalking me in my corner, or I'm gonna wake up and turn around and see someone peeking through my window. Those are like the two things that scare me the most. But at the same time, it's like. Okay, uh, let's let's look back at horror movies for for a second. Like, ninety percent of the horror movies that are made are all fiction. There's that literally handful ten percent that are based on real stories, and they don't. They're not the even, strangers. They're not even completely accurate to like what they what the story really is. I mean, right. I, I think with the Conjuring, they really over the top make it more of a horror movie. I mean, they take. The actual probably cases that they've done, but they they bump them up by like a hundred. Yeah. So they can have a good movie in their hands. But I mean. Well, I, I think what they what they end up doing is, at least based on my understanding, is like they'll take the case and they'll bump it up just a little bit. Right. But then they'll combine it with like another case, and maybe another case to like kind of tie it all together. Because I like I feel like that's what they did a lot in Conjuring too. Because I don't think. That was just one family. I think there was multiple families affected by like that possession. But like one of them was just the old man, and the other one was kind of another thing, like tormenting the kids. And then they kind of just tied in with the Amblyville whore part of it, probably of like Valet. Because I don't, I don't think like all that could happen to like one family. Mm-hmm. And the same thing in Conjuring One. Like I feel like that had to happen to multiple people in that area. Cause like that's that's just too much. Mm. I don't, I don't like like for me. I mean, ones that I guess the one that would get me the most is probably like Paranormal Activity. Um, not so much the later ones, but like the first three. Those ones kind of. Yeah. I was just like always. Let me turn. Let me shut the closet doors and make sure everything's placed where I can see it and make sure. Yeah, that that one, I think the first one I had a. Uh, I think at the night the night I saw it, I had issues in sleeping a little bit. With the, the first one with yeah. its fifty thousand endings. Yeah, yeah. When it has fifty thousand, it's got like endings? it's got like it, four or five endings. Yeah, I didn't know that. And they actually they were smart with marketing it because they said like certain theaters showed different endings, so it made you yeah. not only pay for the movie multiple times, but it yeah you went out of your way to go see what other endings there were. Yeah, well, because I heard you got a really small release initially, right? Well, yeah, that was blown. It was just the first like. Movie. And just had like, like a lot of like just like local indie theaters had it, and then it kind of spread out to like its full. Well, they did going, like nationwide. They did like a whole. They did like a whole. Um, because it got so popular, they did, they did like a whole like campaign where it was like, oh, call your local theater, um, to get them to get this movie. I remember that. That was like because oh, wow. I seen it. I seen it when when it was in. I had to go to like some little tiny whack theater to watch it. And then, like, after, maybe a few weeks after that, they were like, oh, yeah, you know, because it was doing so well in the small theater and people were talking about it. They were just like uh, – they had started doing more marketing as far as, um, you know, to call this number and – or email these people about getting it into bigger theaters. So they had a – like, it was the initial, like, little surge and then it just got big, like, later on. I think it was around October – like, it came out, I think, in September and then, like, it, sh- like, it made a bunch of money in October – yeah, right. but I think that movie was like really much like a different found footage because everyone was like accustomed to like the Blair Witch style. Yeah, but it was a lot more different, and they used a lot of really interesting effects in it. What spawned a whole and, fucking plethora of found yeah, footage movies. Yeah, um, and I, and I think that they did a legitimate job on such a low budget to begin with to make a scary movie. Like I feel like a lot of times, like for example, you can look at like Halloween seventy eight. 
Like that was a really good movie on a small budget. Yeah. And, and you know, Halloween two gets better with a bigger budget, but then you get just like all the way through, and you're kind of like, okay. Sometimes a bigger budget doesn't always mean a better thing because no, it, it, it depends on who you get as the writer. You're like, who the mm-hmm. fuck wrote Halloween four through six? Yeah, <laughs> I need to slap you. Four is fucking amazing. I love. I will defend Halloween one through four till the day I die. Three, <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I just I don't like how they killed Lori off in that, and then at the end of the movie you find out, oh fucking his niece is gonna be the next Michael Myers, and I'm like, why? Just why? Yeah, no, I know. It's got problems, but, like, it's kind of spooky. We all know the best Halloween movie was the one with Paul Rudd. Right, no, of course. There's no debating that. No, it's, you know, you got, <laughs> Bro, you it's got H2O. You got Ant-Man in a movie, it's it's just done. Yeah, it's over. You know, it's it's MCU. I'm defending H2O, H2O to my death, bro. 20 years later. I saw yeah. H2O. Right, well, H2O Reservation? Hold on, I saw H2O in theater, and I enjoyed it then. So... I, I knew I, we were gonna get a, a Rob, an old man Rob moment. Yeah, that, I I like that. It, well, the fact that I said I'd seen it in theaters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm later. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So, if you saw it in theaters, was that '98? I seen Jurassic Park in theaters seven times. So that should tell you guys how old. Oh I, wow! I still, I still win. Oh, with the uh, with the uh, with Endgame, with Endgame? Yeah. and yeah. I, I'm hearing Endgame might be coming back to theater, so I might go for a perfect ten. I think you're gonna go like three times. I'll go for a perfect ten, bro. I think you're gonna go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll be satisfied with a perfect ten. Like that's literally that's it. Like I've seen that movie ten times in theaters. That's like three days or two days of my. That's impressive. Wait, so you what are you at eight? Right, eight. So that's twenty four hours right there. That's a whole day. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't That's regret, a lot. I don't regret every screening of those at all. It was it was a really good movie. In it's my good. eyes, that's one of the greatest movies ever made. Yeah. I'm waiting for Sammy to say something different. But in the Academy's eyes, it's not. Oh, yeah. The Academy's bullshit. Like, how do you not give Robert yeah. Downey the fucking uh, best actor performance in that fuck? That movie was Bro, I, his, one of his best actings ever. He did, even if he didn't win best actor... At least put him in the category. Yeah. Uh, like, just, he's getting nominated. Like, come on. Just recognize how good of a job he did. Ten years in the making of this fucking thing, dude. Like, come on. You know? So. There's we a- all know that. Uh, what's, the, what's the guy from Ant-Man? Um, that Michael oh. Rivera plays? I mean, that's his name? Michael Pena? Michael Pena, that's his name. He needs to get an Oscar. He- Bro, he deserves the Oscar he for uh, the best. Oscar for memorizing all that shit. <laughs> best, <laughs> best supporting actor. Yeah, I wonder how long it took him to do those takes. Dude, uh, no, Michael Pena is a great actor. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people hate on him because he's a Scientologist. But wait, really? He is? I didn't know he's that. He's a Scientologist. <laughs> Bro, um, but Into Watch. Into Watch is great. Oh, that's that's awesome a bro movie. film. That is an awesome. Well, that, that you probably need to add that one to your list. I think I think I believe it's on Netflix still. Or it was. Yeah, I I feel like I watched it maybe like a month ago on Netflix, so it might still be there. Oh really? Bro, yeah. I can't watch that movie. It gets me too sad. It is a sad ending. That that's that's so that's so real right there. That's brotherhood. Yeah, that's, that's, that's another, like a, that's, that's a found real footage, ending. Uh, another found footage movie right there too. That's a really good movie. But they like switch it. That's the thing though. With that movie, they kind of like switch it up. Um, like in the middle, where it's like at the beginning, it's found footage kind of, but then yeah, there's in the middle, it's just scenes. yeah. So it, it's, I mean, I like it. I like the way it was shot and everything. It, it's more like uh, on the kind of boots on the ground, yeah, uh, realistic. But um, yeah, it was just that kind of threw me off a little when I was watching. I was like, okay, it's a found footage, you know, cop movie. And then like you've seen these other camera shots that I was like, well, why would a camera be there? Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's, it, <laughs> where it's a, where did that come from? Yeah, it's a great movie. Out of it's nowhere, like an RKO. <laughs> oh. I don't know where, man. Will, I feel like we haven't let you talk at all. What's your favorite movie, man? My favorite movie of all time? Um, I think, I, yeah, for the for the past few, like year or two, it's been Poltergeist, I think. OG so, Poltergeist. Like, you know, it was in contention a lot, like The Shining, uh, the Disney's uh, animated Peter Pan, and Poltergeist. But I think for the longest time, Poltergeist has just held out as my overall favorite. So we're obviously talking about the reboot Poltergeist. That's the best one. 
What's that? So we're obviously talking about the reboot poster guy. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, what did you think I was saying? Sam Rockwell? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell? Get, get the, if you're even suggesting that the Toby Hooper Spielberg version is better, I, I, I we can't be friends. We can't be friends. I just forgot that ties right there. That's just that. Spielberg. Oh. But Spielberg didn't. So, but Spielberg didn't. No, I, but I, I've never seen the reboot for Poltergeist. What is everyone's big problem with that movie? Was it just not good acting wise, or was it like? I can't comment. Anyone seen it? No one. I, I really want to know because a lot of people shit on that movie, and I like Sam Rockwell. He's a very good actor. I mean, Jojo yeah, Rabbit I think, was good. I, I really think it just boils down to the script and direction they took. Um, this wasn't the the best. Yeah, reboots yeah, are, really, are very hit or miss. Yeah, just didn't really pay homage to oh, the original. Really. Was it was there too many? Was there too much CGI? Was that a lot of people's problems? Was there any CGI at all? I don't know. I got maybe I have to give it a watch. See why why people hate the the reboot. Oh, by the way, I haven't seen the movie. I was just completely BSing that. <laughs> that might be a a thing we have to do in the future for content, uh, weekly live streams where. We, we sit down, we watch the original movie, and then, like, we watch the rebooted version to see what we like better. That seems, that seems like a lot of time. Well, I'm not saying we do it, like, the same uh, Not in one sitting? No, oh, okay. we, we do okay. one week that, and one week that, then we'll take, like, a week or two off, and then do that again. Oh, okay. That way we have it's a break a in between, so it's not like every fucking week we're doing a live stream. We have, like, a two or three week break, and then we do another one. Yeah. Maybe we'll do one That's month better. or something like that. You know, we'll do two live streams a month doing that. So, it's an idea. Yeah, I think we should. Uh, we should start with the original Freaky Friday and work our way up through all the reboots. <laughs> oh, Next is the original Parent Trap with uh, Lindsay Lohan's Parent Trap. Yeah. Oh shit! Lindsay Lohan <laughs> casting two reboots right there. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> she wasn't bald. Uh, then we'll watch the Herbie. Um, oh, the Herbie. Gonna, that one too. Forget about the Herbie. <laughs> She's like the queen of Disney reboots, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't have a fourth one. I, 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 don't, I don't have it. Um, I mean, I have a lot of other reboots. But <laughs> the, that's, uh, that's all I got. Oh, man. No, that, that'd be fun, though. I think we should do that. Maybe uh, that could be something we do in the future. If you guys want to see that, leave some comments below. We'll be happy to do it. Oh, what's that other movie? Um, the one that Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper in? Stars Born. No, there's like 5,000 remakes of that fucking movie. <laughs> yeah. No. We'll, do all the, we'll do all the remakes goes, of that one. What's up? Four. What happened, Will? I said part 36 of our Stars Born remakes. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys missed the first 35 parts, we have a whole playlist on our YouTube channel. Go check them out. <laughs> That's well. The day we do that is the day we're actually really craving for content. Oh god! We just can't. We have no ideas of where to go. I, I think we're ironically like, enough, we need shit. We need something. Ironically enough, they might all be on HBO Max too. All of them? <laughs> yeah, even the new one. Got its own category. <laughs> now, if you go to Turner Classic Movie section on HBO Max, like all the original ones are on there, and then if you go to like HBO's actual section, the new one will be on there. Bro, I'm gonna watch like the like the oldest one and see what kind of music was. They were trying to push. Yeah, that's the only difference. Like, the story <laughs> overall is the same. It's just the, the, the only thing that changes is the music. I mean. They'd be like, tell me something, girl. Yeah. They do it in jazz. <laughs> tell me something, girl. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I don't do jazz. Are you lonely in this modern world? Oh, here we go. Are you done? Singing with Sam. You done? Bro, what if, what if, what if we started... Every Saturday. No, we're not doing it. Saturdays and Sam. I already know what he's doing. Saturdays with Saturdays with Sam and I'll live stream and I'll sing whatever the fans want. That'd be a what big no. That'd be a big no. It'll be it'll be great. It'll get all the views. I'm not gonna support that, but I would tune in to watch. I don't know if that makes sense. That'd be but, a big yeah. no. So like, you're not saying you're giving me the approval, but you want to see what kind of dumpster fire it would be. There you go. Bingo. You got it. Monster fire. I think that might be perfection. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, we're split on this vote then today. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess then um, every week on a on a on an Instagram questions thing, we just type have the people type in what they want to hear from Sammy, and he's got to learn the songs every week. Yeah. Oh my god. That, that, that was at least the first of the song. Saw, bro, I already know I'm gonna get killed right off the bat with like some Eminem rap. Just rap like. God. Like rap got um, perfection, 
Yeah. Um, and then hit me, then hit me with the look at me now, Buster Rhymes part. Like, <laughs> you get a well, you're almost there. You got it. You're almost there, dude. It's all right. <laughs> We get vocal lessons hosted by Sam once a week, every single week. Don't encourage him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't encourage him. I'll break out right now. We'll just break out this opera. Like, me, me, God. me, 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 uh, me, <laughs> me, 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 Oh, man. Well, this has been a very cringy episode of Shoot the Shit. <laughs> Bro, uh, I'm, I'm on the, I, I really had a rough day at work, so I was This is nice. I was going to bring it all. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. That's, that's where the content is at. Um, ladies, and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it today for today's episode of Shoot the Shit. Uh, like always with me, of course, we have Sammy, we have Will, and we have Rob, the Knights of Horror crew. We are just missing one. We are going to one day get everyone together in a room, I promise. One day more. Maybe next week, maybe the week <laughs> after, who knows? I don't know. One day it's going to happen. But until then... Uh, Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed today's podcast, or if you didn't, hit the dislike because of Sammy, so. <laughs> yeah. Hit it with that so long farewell. We, we gotta start, like, we gotta start, like, making the dislike button, like, a thing. Like, if you, if you like the podcast, like this video. If you, if you, if you just like Sammy in this portion, hit the dislike. Hit the so dislike know, button. We know who liked what. <laughs> we gotta bring some bro, positivity to the dislike button. Bro. No, no, we just got to put people in the comment section. Just like, if you like Sam from uh, minute 37 through 47, uh, <laughs> hit, hit us, hit, hit, drop a, this in the comments. Instead of having a poll, we could have, like, uh, a vote if you don't want Sam to give you vocal lessons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely let, let us know. I want to hear your thoughts on what you think of Sammy's uh chaos today yeah uh, dumpster fire that's what i have dumpster fire uh possible t-shirt in the future maybe a limited edition run dumpster fire <laughs> the dumpster fire run dumpster yeah. fire. Uh, oh, singing sammy's dumpster fire <laughs> singing sammy a new segment on Ch- i shoot the shit yeah all right well that'll do it for today's episode ladies right. and gents Thank check out check out, check out the merch store uh hit up our social medias uh, at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at the Knights of Horror on Instagram. Uh, and of course, um, we love each and every one of you guys, and we'll see you guys next week for another episode. Peace.